no matter what path you choose to walk, and whether you believe or not, you can be certain that a fairy is watching. Hello, fairy finders and fairy seekers. Welcome to Fairy Quest and another episode of Real Fairies and Real Photos, Single Photo Fairies, Episode 2, and that's a mouthful. Today we will be at the Ball Cemetery, which is located a little bit of a distance from Rhodes, Iowa, but I do believe it's still considered Rhodes. And this photo was an older one from 2016, and I had not marked with little red squares the fairies that I found in this photo. So to be able to present it to you here in this video, I had to go through the photo again to find those fairies, which is no easy task. In the process, the photo that had four fairies that I was going to share with you ended up having 10. And there are probably more, but those were ones that I didn't feel I would be able to present well enough to you. So we will be working with 10 of them from Ball Cemetery today, one single photo. Also, I have an announcement to make. I've started another channel, which is called Fairy Quest Toracles. And this channel is for doing readings. I love doing readings with varied types of cards and I didn't want to interrupt the flow of showing you fairies in this channel as I once did. Instead, I decided to start another one. So for those people who enjoy readings, check out that channel. And for those people who enjoy seeing fairies in the woodland areas from the photographs, stay with this one or do both. The other channel, the readings channel, I am using some cards that I created myself that have the fairies from these photos in them, but I'm also using other decks. So anyway, let's get over to checking out the Ball Cemetery photo for the single photo fairies episode two. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I have photo number 1851 from Ball Cemetery from 2016 up on the screen. And as you can see, I have my little red squares now. There's four across the bottom, two in the center, another two on the third tier. And on the very last tier of the photo, we have two more, total of 10. So let's get started down here in the first tier bottom left and we will take a look at what is there and again as before in episode one I have taken a portion of the photograph the original photograph and put it here so that you have a little bit more to go from now when we look over here we also have a bigger version of this little one and an, a lightened version of this little one so in this one, it's a little bit difficult to see. And previously we discovered that if I took it up to 200%, it seemed to show you a little bit better on the screen. So she is a little difficult because we don't have all of her. What we can see of her is a face here with some hair and her arm. Now, my view is we have one eye here we have one eye over here, and her arm is this way, her ear is right here, and some of her hair comes down here, and some of her hair is over here, almost like it is in a ponytail. Every now and then I also see her face in a view that is facing to the right. So you will have to decide which image you are seeing. I oftentimes have people tell me when they're looking at the photographs, oh, I see this. It's in the same location, but they are seeing something differently than I am, and that's okay. We see what we are actually meant to see and get out of something what we are actually meant to get out of it. So anyway, here she is, and if we look at the lightened version of her, you can definitely see her hand and her arm here. We can see her ear even better. She's got a shine on the cheek. She has a hairline, so she's there, but she's kind of tucked behind this little tree. And if we go over here and take a look, 
you can almost see her a little more clearly here. And her hair does go over here, and here is the little miniature tree that she sits by. So that is the first one. When we look over here, we have one not very far from her, and I do believe I used the same square of photo. And let's see, yep, because right here she is, the original one, the first one. And now we are close by. And what we're seeing here, once I enlarge it for you, and this is to 200%, what we are seeing here are two little beings, one right here and one right here. We have one wearing a hat and one that is blonde and not wearing a hat. We don't really see bodies. They're tucked behind leaves and this one is definitely almost like he's resting his chin on the leaf and this one is tucked behind. So if we look at them a little bit larger, they're going to be blurred because they are very, very small as most of the fairies in the photographs are. So here we have an eye and eye. Here we have chubby little cheeks. We have an ear right here. Here is the hat and perhaps part of the chin or that might be chin and neck. It's hard to tell. This one over here, we have an eye and an eye, hair that comes down kind of over top of the this eye and around here and we can see the blonde. The, the ear is showing here and as I said, part of the face is behind this leaf this also may be an arm or part of an arm, shoulder and arm. So then if we scroll up here, we can see them a little more lightly because this is the lightened photo. So that gives you a chance to see the lightened and these guys over here. I can see them so clearly in all of them and I'm hoping you are able to see them as well. These are good eye training exercises to be able to see the fairies more clearly. So going to the third one now, we're going up to the second tier. And for those who are not familiar to how I go through photographs, I take the photograph and I put it up to 200%. And I go through from left to right to find any fairies in this tier, which would be tier one. And then I will go and I'll find a spot that will allow me to go up to the second tier and then I will go through the second tier and I just repeat the process going to the third tier and then the very tail end of the photo which is usually only about oh this much of a portion across is all that's left. So we are in the second tier here with this and we'll start with this one right here the small one and we will put it up to 200% right away. Oh, I'm sorry. I take that back. We are not done here yet. What am I thinking? We still have two pictures. I'm getting way ahead of myself, aren't I? I'm just excited to share. So anyway, we're going over here <laughs> to finish off tier one. Okay, so all that explanation on the tiers, it still stands. I just got ahead of myself. All right, so picture three is what we want here. And we'll take it up to 200%. Okay, so this one's a little bit odd and you might at first have a very hard time seeing it. I have a little difficult time seeing it in this, this here. I can see it now, but when I first bring it up, I don't see it, but this is a really incredible photograph. So I will take you up here and I will point this out for you. All right, so this little one appears to be wearing a little hat. We see an eye here. We see another eye, we see a nose, and we even can see teeth in this one. And then it has done, or he or she, I'm assuming he in this case, I do believe this is also an ear, but very chubby cheeks. And he has used the leaf to create the impression of 
a hand, or I should say his hand he has turned into leaf material to do an even better job at hiding himself. So when I lighten it up, we can see teeth. See the teeth? and the eye and the other eye. We've got the nose, very chubby cheek. And if you cannot see this, it only goes to like right here. We cannot see the chubby cheek on this side as well. There's a little bit of it right here by the eye, but the leaves are covering up over here. The leaves right through here are covering up and he blended his skin even into the beautiful color of the leaves, but you cannot mistake his little face in there. And I did not see this the first time that I actually went through this photo. This was not one of the original four. I did not see it. But again, he has taken that leaf and formed his hand into that leaf, changed it over, blended it in, so it would not give him away. But you can't miss this face. The next photo, next little guy, is right over here, almost off the edge of the photograph. So we are at number four, and it's already up to 200%. And again, I took the same photo here, so we can see the other guy that we just went through right here. And then there's this one. Now, I'm not sure what this one was attempting to do or if this is just how it looks. But it is almost in a cocoonish type outfit. We can see the arms at least and the chest. We also see part of the face, which seems a bit skewed. I almost think it's, if you look at me in the screen in the corner, I almost think he's doing this like he's disliking something, and that's perhaps maybe me taking the photograph. <laughs> but he has this large hood and the flesh-colored face, and then again, the hood and the outfit match in color. But we can definitely see the one eye and the nose kind of off to the side because that's what happens when you screw up your face in that way as something you dislike. So if you look at him down here, he might be a little bit easier to see, but then this gives you a lot of detail when you're looking at the larger photo. So now we can go up to the second tier that I was in a hurry to get to, and we will start with this one. So this would be photo five, and I will make it larger. This one is interesting. Actually, they're all interesting, but this one is pretty clear. If you look at it like this, it kind of looks like just other leaves, part of other leaves, and it stuck out to me because it seemed a lot clearer than some of the things around. So this is what I'm seeing here in that little square. We have a little bar here um, a stick, I'm assuming, and we have a nose resting on this stick. Here is the face. Here's part of, a, I'm assuming, a mustache or maybe even part of the mouth. We see eyes here, but what really got me is this looks like almost like a crown. Here's the top of the head, and this crown, I'm just going to call it a crown, is resting right above the eyebrows. You can even see the point here. And what a perfect shape here. So this one was very interesting. And if I bring it over, you can see it a little lighter. I mean, you can't get the top of the head any brighter than it already is. It was being hit by sunlight. But you maybe can see the face just a little bit better and even a little bit of hair, it kind of looks like. I don't think he's bald. I think he's just, or maybe he is. I don't know for sure. At any rate, the top of his head is quite bright, probably because of the sun. So that was kind of a, a surprise picture. 
So moving on to one that is very close to that one that I just showed you is number six. And again, we will take this up in size. All right, so here we are. And this one is a very odd, I, I have no names for a lot of these fairies because there's so many different species. And I could probably douse and find out what species they are and start a whole new encyclopedia that nobody's ever seen before, but that's a lot of work, so maybe someday. But here we have one that has blended itself into some kind of hairy little pod. Kind of looks like a hairy little pod, but we can see the hair. We can see a closed eye. The other eye is right here. We can see a nose. It almost looks as though it has feathers. And if you look over here, you can even see the face a little bit more that the hair goes right above the eyes, like long bangs. And I don't really see any limbs per se, but here it is lit up so that you can see the eyes a little bit better, even the nose. And the interesting thing with this one is that most pods would hang down from the skinny part, not up. So I feel like this one may be a nature spirit. I have no idea what kind of nature spirit, but she seems to have feathers. So moving on, we are now at the third tier, and I'm sure of it this time. <laughs> and we are starting out with this one, that is number seven. We will take it up larger right away. Okay, so this one is more human-like, a bit rounded in the face. Here's the, here's the face. We have eyelashes in the eye. Her hair is what looks like pigtails almost. So here's the top of her head, a very straight hairline. And there's some shadow here on her face and her neck is in here somewhere. Not sure what she's attached to on the other side because she is covered by leaves all around. But seeing her up close, we can see that eye and even the, the pupil of the eye some eyelashes. We can see the tie that binds her little pigtail here. I'm assuming there's one on the other side as well. And I've brightened her up a little bit, although that really wasn't necessary. She's, she's quite clear. Her nose is a little bit stubbed. Maybe it's, you know, kind of almost like a animal nose right here, but yet she's a lot more human looking. So there she is again. And also in this, and I did not enlarge this one, but if you look at this leaf here, okay, we have a leaf right here, but if you look at this one, there is an eye and an eye and a nose and a mouth on this one and an ear lying down, flat, blended in, but since she was the main focal point and this one's a lot harder to see, I thought I would point her out and you could make your own determination on this one. Okay, so moving on, we are going to this one here, number eight. And this one I debated, are those leaves or are those bat wings? We have this here. And if you look at him here, you can see the dark outline. And then you can see the outline here. And they are pointy like wings in a way. So it kind of reminds me of bat wings. And we can see the hair, what looks like a hair. We can see a face. Here's a nose. Here's an eye, here's an eye, and a headband, or even similar to the other one, kind of like a crown. 
Moving over, I've lightened it up a little bit for you. But it's an interesting fairy. So if you look at it over here, and if these are not wings, then this fairy is just tucked behind a leaf. But the, if this is a leaf, it is split. It isn't just one leaf, it's more than one leaf. And I think the shape of it and the way that it is around this little one's head, I think, I'm going to say I think they're wings, but that's my opinion. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. So now we'll move up to number nine. We're up to the last tier of the photograph and we'll do this one first. So this one, we have a little guy right here in the tree. We can see that he's wearing a hat and we can see an eye, an eye. This little light part is the nose and it's almost like he's waving at us because here is the arm, here is the hand. And if I move over to where he's a little bit bigger, he's a lot more blurred because he is farther back in the photograph, so a little bit harder to see. But if you step back a little bit, you can probably see him or just stick to seeing him in this one because he would be a lot clearer due to his distance. But I wanted to show you some detail up front, if at all possible, and I've lightened him here, which makes him blend into the background a lot more. But when looking at the shadows, we can definitely see he has a hat. We see eyes that are kind of, they're in shadow as well. Part of his arm and hand is in shadow. So the easiest way I think, or the easiest way for me to see him is here. And I'm not sure if I were to make this picture larger up to 100%. It's definitely different than everything around. So we know that that is a being. See how they stand out? Once you've seen them, they're hard to not see. All right, so the last one that we're doing here is number 10. And to me, this one has formed herself a great deal out of the sunlight, but it's the body language. It's, it's the way that her body is moved. And it's almost like she's going like this. Okay, next to her head. She is wearing a hat. Get my pointer here. She is wearing a hat kind of a pointy green hat. This is not part of the hat. This here is the shape of the hat. The point is there. And there's a leaf here in the way, but here is one arm with her hand. Here is the elbow of the other arm and her hand coming out like this. Here's her face, her nose. She's wearing glasses and she has kind of a pointy chin. She kind of reminds me of like a, a witch face from like a Wizard of Oz movie or something like that, the, the pointy chin and kind of the hooky nose. But because the leaves are here, we cannot see her face that clearly. But I do believe impression wise, if you look at her like this, I do believe she is wearing some kind of glasses. Up close, it doesn't look like much. It looks like little spots of light, but a lot of times these fairies form themselves from the sunlight. They form themselves from the leaves. They form through uh, broken down or eroded wood from the trees. They form themselves in a lot of ways. All I can do is bring it for you and it is up to you to decide what it is that you are seeing. All right, so that is it for episode two of Single Photo Fairies. And I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've seen some really cool fairies this time around. And don't forget to check out the description box with the other new channel. That'd be awesome. 
like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next episode take care